In this exercise, we're going to buzz over the UI element states selectors of CSS, which are the enabled, disabled, and checked pseudo selectors. First, let's take a look at the enabled and disabled pseudo selectors. So let's see what that renders. So you can see our enabled elements have the styling that we want, and we can interact with them. And the disabled element has a different style rule. Now you can use the universal selector here if you're going to have many different input types like select inputs, text areas, and things like that. Or if you're only going to have input, you can just put input right there. So there's specific HTML elements that can be enabled and disabled. So these pseudo selectors are made to target those when they're in those states. Okay, now let's investigate the checked pseudo selector. So there are certain HTML elements that can be checked, like check boxes or radio buttons. So what I have here is two check boxes, and one is set to checked by using the checked attribute. Now what this rule will do is target any elements that are checked in the document. So let's see what that renders, and we should get a crosshair when we put our mouse over the checked. See? When we put our mouse over the checked element, we get a crosshair. So you can use this to target any elements in the document that are checked. Now we can do some cool interactive things with the checked selector and really any other type of interactive selectors. So one of you guys suggested that we show the interactive effects using check boxes or radio and sibling selectors. You click on the label and the element next to the check is affected. Now what's cool is that the element doesn't even have to be directly next to the check. It could just be somewhere after it in the document. So we're going to show you that exact thing right now. All right, in this example, we have an element P1. We're targeting by its ID right here. And by default, it's set to display none, so you can't even see it. I'll show you what it renders. So at first, you can't even see the paragraph. All you see is the checkbox and its label. So now this rule says that when the checkbox is checked, any general sibling of the ID of P1 is going to turn to display block. That means it's going to show. So let's test a little application. Agree to terms. And it says, thanks for agreeing, only if the checkbox is checked. If it unchecked, it goes away, you see? So it kind of toggles the display of that paragraph, or that could be a div or whatever you want. And this little checkbox is powering the display, or it's toggling the display of that element. And that covers all of the UI element state selectors.